fine, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're going. Thank you. You look very brilliant this afternoon, yellow, black. Flattery <laughs> would get you anywhere, my boy. Yeah? But anyway, thanks for the compliments. You're welcome. So, how are your parents? They're fine. They're doing well. Very good. And what about uncle? Is he in? You know all these politicians? Abuja today, Sokoto tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, you're very funny. <laughs> but it's very true, funny. my son. It is true. You were because... supposed to be here for us. Baby, I'm sorry. Okay? When I was coming, there was a lot of traffic, a lot of hold up. Please, forgive me. You should have called me. That is why there's mobile phone. I know. I'm sorry. Okay? I did try to call you. I swear I did. Baby girl, I think you need to understand with him. Exactly. The traffic was already building up when I was coming back home earlier. See what I'm talking about? You don't need to lose your temper like that. Okay, Mom. Sorry. I understand. I understand because of you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You guys are just meant for each other. Yeah. What a wonderful couple both of you would make. Yes. I've been telling you this, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you will excuse me. So, are you ready for us to go? I'm ready since yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, are you listening to me at all? Loud and clear, bro. I was only wondering if you were even listening to yourself. What does that mean? You said Bimbo is selfish, arrogant and quite insensitive. In your words, she's just um, a spoiled rich brat. So, why in the relationship? Well, it's not like, it's not like I don't like her at all. I mean, I like her. It's just sometimes... I mean, things just don't work out. She can be a sweet girl, you know. So, why not try and make her see things the way you see them? I tried. I tried. It's, it's not working, man. Unlike Jane. <laughs> Is that why you've been avoiding me? Who says I've been avoiding you? You don't have to tell me. I know. You don't call me, and when I call you, you're so much in a hurry to get off the phone. Why? I, I said, I, 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 I've been... I... Come on, baby. I love you so much. And I think your problem should be my problem. I, I, at least you can talk to me. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing to worry your head over, right? I'll sort it out. Is it the business? I told you I'm okay. I'm fine. Look, always know that I love you. And all I want for you is to be happy, okay? Come on, I know. I'm happy. Don't worry about me. I'm okay, right? I'm okay. Okay, if you say so. And I say so. Right, I I must be on my way now. You can have this. What? It might come in hand with what you would do. Thank you. It's 
and see me off. Oh, thank you. Goodbye. Okay. No, 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 man. The thing is, Jane is so understanding. I mean, it's simply amazing. That's why I love her so much. Lucky. I think you better start analyzing what you mean when you use the word love. Between Bimbo and Jane, who do you really love? Hello. I think Jane is a good girl. Yeah. Jane is a good girl. She even knows about Bimbo, you know. Really? Yeah. Maybe... What did she say? Nothing. She didn't say anything. You know, that's what amazes me. After, I mean, what happened, she told me at the end of the day, okay, it's not going to stop her from loving me. Simply marvelous. Can you believe that? That's quite romantic. You can say that again. Maybe she thinks she stands a chance later. What chance? The chance of marrying you, bro. That's the problem. Check it out. You're one of the most eligible bachelors in this country. That's where the problem lies. You know? Now I can't really know who truly loves me. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. I don't know who truly loves me. Your heart. Your heart will tell you the truth, bro. Listen to it more closely. You can feel it. It's something more than what we feel. I can count how many times I've seen my husband. All because he's a senator. Yeah, but why don't you consider moving to Abuja? <laughs> I have thought about it several times. But it's not worth the stress. It is true we have some houses at our Sokoro, but Abuja is not just it for me. I mean, what will happen to my businesses here? My friends? No, 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 no. It's like starting a new life all over again. Well, you're right. Grace, Abuja is lovely, but give me Lagos any day. <laughs> so, how is your daughter, Bimbo? She is doing very well. Your son came around the house the other day. He said so. He really loves your daughter. I know. And Bimbo is very fond of him. Every time I look at both of them, they are just a perfect couple. I can't wait for them to tell us the magic date. I really don't know what they're still waiting for. At Bimbo's age, I was already married to her father. Ah, maybe they're taking their time. You know children of nowadays. <sighs> anyway, you're right, my sister. Hmm. But I tell you, it's going to be the wedding of the century in Nigeria. <laughs> are you telling me? Hey, it's going to be a carnival. Hmm. Who oh, no, no, who oh, no? Hey, three musicians on the bus and for sure live. <laughs> Governors, mm -hmm. royalties. Mm -hmm. Have you forgotten that my husband is still a prince? <laughs> Remind me, Jerry. Mm -hmm. What color do we adopt? Mm -hmm. Purple is not bad. Hmm. I agree with you. Hmm. This wedding is going to be second to none in the whole Africa. <laughs> <agree with you. laughs> hey. Hmm. <laughs> You're such a funny guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you make me laugh so, so much too, you know. Oh, come on. I must confess this is one of my memorable nights. Yeah? I confess I enjoy it myself. Ha ha ha! I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun when I'm around you. Yes, I do. <laughs> and you know I love you very much, right? Okay. Come on, let me take this off. Good. Okay.
sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta go. No, something I did. No, no, no. You didn't do anything here. You didn't do anything. I just have. To. It's just that. I... Okay. Let's say this for the road too. can be quite dangerous out here. Hmm? So you have to be extremely careful. Thanks for the advice, yes. old man. <laughs> but how was your f flight from Abuja? Mm -hmm. It was a very beautiful uh, experience. Oh, by the way, um, uh, Senator Johnson was also on that flight and we got talking. He was very enthusiastic about the relationship between you and his daughter, and um, I think he's of the opinion that the earlier you hit it off, the better, and um, I think I share his view. Uh, by the way, how is it coming? Oh, we're getting off. Fine. I see. Um, I hear she's doing a master's program, right? Oh, yeah, she is. She, she just actually completed. Mm. That means that if you eventually decide to hit it off, you know, she will not be a liability. No, no, she's not going to be Good. at all. Um, I hope I'm not getting too intrusive, but you see, when a man is getting old and he has only one son, he is normally obsessed with the future of his son. He wants to see him settle down and, um, well, with a little bit of blessing from God, he would like to cuddle his grandchildren before he <laughs> gets gathered to his maker. So, son, how soon do you think you can give me that joy? I saw this conversation coming. Sooner than later, I saw it. Well, soon. Real uh, soon. Uh, yes. Uh, so you're giving me your word that it'll be sooner than later. Right? Oh, yes. I can reassure you that. Yes. That I want to go up and take my shower. I see. All right. Uh, so I'm reassured, huh? Ah, oh, Dad, don't worry. Your grandkids are on the way. It's all right, son. <laughs> I'm just <not. laughs> All right. Love. Okay. And I love him too. Hmm. That's unfair. You see, nothing is fair in the game of love. I always try to be realistic in such issues. And how do you mean? Come on, let's face that. I don't stand a chance in marrying. All I have to do is to play his mistress and get what I want before he goes to marry that rich girl. I mean, a, a girl of his status. <laughs> Whenever can so. He must just change his mind and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what? Huh? And what? <laughs> that is a miracle that can never happen. And even if he has to, his parents won't let him. Listen, Lucky and I are of different class. <laughs> Why not walk away? Did I hear you right? Yes. And lose all I would gain? Hmm? Look, as long as he can provide for my needs, I care less about what he does with his life. Hmm? You're not wrong, Chao. Yeah? You're not wrong. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know about that, my guy? 
Oscar, Oscar. That my guy that runs a business center. I'm still waiting for the day I'll set my eyes on. Don't worry. You're going to see him one of these days. <laughs> but hey, I love Oscar. I'm going to marry him. Marry? Oh, come, come, come. Does he know about Lucky? <laughs> hey, not on your life. Ah, come on. I love that boy too much. But, you see, he's struggling now, and I know he'll make it. And I want to struggle with him. I thought you were too. What about him? Yes. Look, I love Oscar. I mean, he's so crazy about me. <laughs> now he told me he won't marry me. Hmm. I love him, Sha. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's my girl. Hmm. Ah. Finally. Happy for you. Oscar talk me. Say you won't marry me. Uh-uh. Ah. Shoot. Oh, God. Hey. Let's ah. see. Do like this. Like this, like this. I know, I know. But inviting the president to my daughter's birthday party. Hmm. Is it really what you call official matter? Oh, no, 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 no. Daddy, it's not official. It's your personal friend. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, tell him five minutes. Just, just five minutes. Even one minute. Mr. President will not find it amusing. If I even brought the idea to him. You see, my darling, see, I promised you a great party. A great party. I promise you a champagne party. That is not enough. Look, 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 girl. It's all right. You see, I promise you that the president will be there for you on your wedding day. It's okay. Hmm? Okay, sir. Okay, when your mom wakes up, tell her that I had to go to a caucus meeting on the island. See you when I come back. Okay, sir. Eh? simple as that. I can just walk in a fast food joint and say, I want to buy a decision. Maybe you don't want to, or you're even too scared to lose your independence. It's not that bad. So, make your choice between Bimbo and Jane. Should not let us turn our wives to girlfriends and girlfriends to wives. As I remember those words, so does each meaning also dawn on me as I move on with life. You're my friend. I'll tell you the truth. It's it's quite I mean it makes a lot of sense. It's quite... Refused to make the decision. They've decided to fix a date for you. You're not serious. No, serious. I'm not joking. I'm your friend. I'm standing by as your best man. My size is 48. Lucky. Okay. 
Yes, my dear. Yeah, Chief said I should give it to you. Yes, sir. Um, um. You are Mara Okechuku, right? I know you. You live in 7th Avenue with one of your aunts, right? Yes. Okay, I know you. You are... I'm Falu. Yes. Falu... Bunga. Yeah, Falu Bunga. Dancing. Yeah, that was way back. I used to dance. You know? So how are you doing? You've grown so big. What about your aunt? You know, last time I saw you was when you were... Hello like, guys. There's somebody here who didn't live on 7th Avenue. Sorry, sir. I'll take my leave. Alright, take care of yourself. I think she's a pretty girl. Is she? What does this letter say? somewhere else. What is it? It's nothing. It's nothing when I'm fine. You're not. Are you not. Do you mind telling me what the problem is? Well, maybe it's got to do with the work pressure. The pressure at the workplace. So. But I'll be fine. All right? Work pressure. Well, um, I hope when we finally do get married, you don't bring your work pressure home. I wouldn't want that to affect our family life. I won't. I won't let it. Now, eat the food like you're enjoying it, please. ERCC is the beginning of wisdom. I agree with you entirely. This is why today everything is following due process. Due process. And if you ask me, this is the best thing that has happened to this country. Yes. And it has helped to reduce corruption. It is now breeding a new brand of professionals, both within the public and private sectors. Very sure. Very sure. <laughs> And you know, for me, this is the greatest dividend of democracy that has been recorded in this country. It is in, in the philosophy of our great party to leave a legacy unmatched in the administration of this nation. And, uh, but uh, mm. I think we are in the right course. And with people like you in the Senate, Kola, for this country, the sky is the limit. 
The sky is the limit. And with people like you behind us, mm. the sky must be our limit. <laughs> <laughs> there is something I want to tell you. Mm. What is it? A little secret. Mm. What is it? I want to vote for the presidency come next election. Are you kidding? I wish I were, but pressure is on me. My senator, the great Socrates of our time, my own president in waiting. Oh, amen, 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 amen. amen. You're already there. You are there. My brother, you know, we still have two years to go. And who knows where the wind blows? No matter where the wind blows, Kola, you want the presidency, you will get it. You are there. But you, you are there! <laughs> <laughs> hey! That's good. Yes! Unless I forget, mm. your beard is quite in order. And I don't see any problem anywhere. My senator. Of course, with you, I don't foresee any problem, except that uh, uh, I would be happy if you can speed it up, so that the sooner I get that oil prospecting license, the better. My overseas partners can't wait. They're itching to start work immediately. Honestly, that's, that, that's my only bother now. When I said there is no problem, there is no problem. You see, have you forgotten that I am the chairman house committee on uh, oil and gas? My senator! So my worry. senator! That's no problem. My don't senator! Worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. My it's senator! <laughs> Crazy, or it could be infatuation. Whatever it is, at the end of the day, since I met this girl, she's the only thing that has been on my mind, the only person. But you don't even know her. Yeah, that's it. That's the point. That's the more reason why I should get to know her better. That's it. So, what about Bimbo and Jane? Or oh, haven't you thought about them too? Oh, yes, I have. When I get to that bridge, I'll cross it. So, what bridge are you crossing, Mr. Lovaboy? I mean, that you have two women in your life and you're falling in love with another girl. Someone you don't even know. Okay, this is what it is. I need this girl. I need her so badly. Even when I'm with Bimbo or Jane, she's the only person I think about. Daytime, I daydream. In the night, I explore. In one sentence, She's killing me. Yeah, I think she'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> I know.
Can you call me back later? And then father just called for me. When? Alright, just call me back. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Alright. Thanks for calling me. Bye. this oh, come on you see I made some small money out of a contract and I felt I should get you this oh my god I love you I really do really <laughs> I love you <laughs> I love you too I don't know how to repay you for all this you've been doing for me sometimes I feel guilty Shh. don't say a word look there's nothing wrong with that as long as I'm able to do what I'm doing I will keep doing them. I know, but... <laughs> this is nothing. Hey, come on, you have to know that love... Don't you know that love is sharing? Hmm? And I know if you had, you would do more. But I have a feeling you're going to be so much, too much in the future. <laughs> this is why I love you. You always know how to encourage me. I wonder what the world would have been without you, too. I love you, too. Stand there, or you come and give your sister some. Oh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, 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 your parents. <laughs> yeah, let me just see. Well, oh, my lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are off for the Senate President's party. Mm -hmm. Back in the morning. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, which bedroom are we gonna use? You're so naughty. <laughs> Mine. Okay. God, what is all this? Why wouldn't he just stop troubling my life? Me, a common secretary, dating the chairman's only son. Impossible. I know. What he really wants, he just wants to count me among the numerous girls that have graced his bed. I know. That is what he wants. Anyway, we shall see how he's going to do that. <laughs> I'm not man enough, right? You say I'm not man enough. Uh, you're lucky that is not what I am saying, but knowing you, you're just going to twist my world around. It's fine. You said I'm not man enough. That's fine. Fine. Where are you going to? It's fine. That is not what... That's you... what you said. You said I'm not man enough. Lucky, stop it, okay? You're just <laughs> you're twisting my words. I didn't mean that, okay? Doesn't matter. 
Does it make a difference? You're actually leaving. You said you like ABC, right? Huh? Is that not what you said? You said I'm not man enough, Loki, right? I don't understand why you're getting upset. I mean, I have a right to voice what I feel. You, I, I don't understand. Wait. What you said is good enough. That I'm not man enough. As far as I can, I never meant it the way you're taking it. I'm, why are you going? I have a right to, to, to express what I feel without you get... Inside or anything. I just wanted to see your face before I sleep. I know it's an ungodly hour and everything, but. Thank God you know it's ungodly. What in the world are you looking for here? So I came to see your face. And now that you have seen my face, can I go back to sleep now? Yeah, sure. Why not? Good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Love speaks the language of the heart and soul. Love is a cold that bounds you to me. Your heart is searching for the one who ignites you. The love you share will surely never die. Hi! How are you today? Good afternoon, sir. Uh, come on, let's drop the circuit. Call me lucky, alright? Uh, work. Busy. Should I notify your father that you're here to see him? I didn't know my father was in. Uh, listen. Um, so, should I tell him? No, uh, that would be necessary. Listen. My coming here today has nothing to do with my father. I came here because of you. Well, sir, I. Alright. Listen. Why are you doing this? Why are you lighting like this? Don't you understand? I don't know what you're talking about. Amara, I can promise you one thing, alright? That is, I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna take care of you. I will do anything I can. Um, I'm sorry. The chairman will be doing this. Sorry, I have to give this to him. Okay. I can see you're just trying to use work to avoid me, but it's alright. Hey, listen, I got this for you. I'm sorry, I can't accept your gift. Unfortunately, I'm not taking it back. Please, I can't take it. I can't accept it. Accept it, please. Take it back. Whatever you do, wherever you go, no matter how far it is, I will find you.
Now I know you're really crazy. Maybe. Maybe? Yeah. Bro, you're blockers. How can you be buying gifts for a girl who doesn't even give a hoot about you? Throws away your gift? A girl who doesn't even pick your calls or won't have anything to do with you? Come on, bro. Even Father Christmas can't do what you're doing. That's what you think? Well, the fact of the matter is, it will take a little while. She'll come around. She'll get to realize that I love her. Time? Yeah. Listen, Lucky. Vemar, I know we'll never change our mind. Oh, yes, she will. Come on, man. Just what? Wait and see. I'm capable. Aha. This. What do you think about this? I think she will like it. You're mad. Nah, 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 nah. Do you think buying her expensive gifts will sway her opinion? Well, I don't think it will. But, man, how else can I show this girl affection? Hmm? I must buy stuff for her. I must let her know how much I care about her. Whether it's going to sway her decision or not, I don't know about that part. So then, why are you killing yourself? Why am I killing myself? I mean, Amara is a girl that has a mind of her own, so I don't think anything is going to uh, influence her decision. She's a girl that I love very much. I, I love her for real. Ah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. This is it. This must be the ideal present. Oops, I can see it on her already. Out of value. What you think? I'll oh, have it. Give me that one. Okay. Give me more, give me more. Right. The feeling I have for this girl is for real. Oh. Oh, you look tired. Yes, I'm nice walk. It's fine. Very, very tired. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Welcome, my son. Thank you. Hi. Oh, the minute I get upstairs, take a shower, rest a little bit, I'll be fine. Okay. Ooh. Where is your husband? <laughs> he traveled. Hi. Again? Where to now? Calabar. He traveled to see the governor. They will have an appointment tomorrow morning. This is your husband. He never sits one place. Here today, there tomorrow. Wow. Mm. See who is talking. He doesn't stay at one place. Here tomorrow, there. Ah, are you not like your father? You're always busy. Eh? Anyway. I'm used to you people. At least I spend some time home. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to my room. Uh -huh. Bimbo was here today and she looked worried. I hope everything is okay. What do you mean? She was so worried. She said you don't pick her calls anymore. I don't even call her. Why lucky? Eh? What's the problem? No, we're fine. We're cool. We're cool. You're fine, you're cool? Eh? And you want me to believe that lucky? Anyway, Bimbo is a very nice girl. Whatever she must have done to you, whatever she must have said that you don't like, please, please for my sake, forgive her. I'm your mother. You know we women, we are too emotional. Please, my son. Eh? Please. Okay? Please. Please. Okay. I hear you. Good, that's my boy. Anyway, go up and uh, wash and come down for your dinner. Yeah. I prepared something special for you. Yeah. I prepared your service. Oh, 
Good morning, madam. Please, are you Miss Amaro Kechuku? Yes. All right. I have one person for you. If you please sign in here. From who? Oh, madam, I wouldn't know. But please, just sign in. Right. Thank you very much. So, once again, thank you, and do have a splendid weekend. Manage. Manage. If this is what they call manage, I would love to manage like you. <laughs> you manage like me. Uh, uh, you know, Oscar, I'm serious. You see, your business is growing. And you have a lady by your side who can do anything just to please you. Anyway, Sha, uh, is the loss doing? I agree with you. It's the loss doing. Uh, have I told you she bought some computers for my business? Wow. No, oh, she did. She did. She wants me to go into cybercraft business and she has agreed to acquire the VSAT for the internet connection. And they call this managing? My dear, I just did try. We did try. <laughs> My guy, that babe loves you. I mean, I love her too. <laughs> Who tells her I love her? I love her. And she loves me. It's okay, please. Okay, this is this an office, alright? Not today. I know, but you're the boss here, and you can just tell them not to disturb you. I know. I can do anything I want, but please, let's do it another day, all right? Okay? Yeah. You see, I've not seen you for some days, and I'm missing you. I know. I miss you too. I do. Come on, not today, all right? Okay, I can promise you I will see you later. That is what you always say. I know. This time, I promise I will. I'll keep to my word. I will. Okay. I want just something. Um, um baby, I, I was not expecting you. Obviously. And who is this Trump? Who? Oh, huh? She's... She's my, my, my secretary. My, my new secretary, yes. Really? And she's on your table? Well, it, it's, not, it's not what you think. She was just... I don't want to be hurt. Are you? <laughs> A busy one. I know your type. But you see this man over here? He belongs to me. So I do not want to see you anywhere near him. That will be all. Okay, but okay. Uh, shut up. It means get out. Excuse me. Get out. Baby, 
you didn't have to do that. Why did you do that? Look, I don't even think about it. You say she's your new secretary? Yes. Fine. Okay. You will relieve her of her new duties. Immediately. For what? What did she do? I told her to sit on the table. She was just trying to explain. Don't even start. She leaves immediately. Okay? Lucky when you make promises to me, I expect you to keep them. You were supposed to be in my house yesterday for dinner. What happened? Amara, you've not been yourself all day. What is the problem? Oh, Susie, I didn't hear you call me. You don't want him. I have. But the more I tell him to back off, the more he comes stronger. Susie, I swear, I'm tired. Wow. I can't sleep anymore. I can't even concentrate on my work anymore. Running away from everything. I know how you feel. But running would solve the problem. What do you want me to do? I have done everything that I can. I have said no to him with polite insults. I have ignored his cause, refused his gift, but still nothing. It just won't stop. What do I do? Face your face, my dear. It's true. You've got to face your face. How? Oh, maybe he likes you the way he says. Maybe. Don't even go there, Susie. Well, just like that. Um, I have to get back to my desk. I'll start preparing to you. Thanks for the advice. Excuse me. I believe you are Miss Amara. So what would the problem be? Uh, okay. Uh, my boss say I should come and pick you and drop you home. And who is your boss? Now get looking now. Say your are God that I said you should leave me alone. Susie, let's go. No, madam. I can't do that kind of one. My God said I must make sure say I pick you, drop you home. I said you should leave me alone. Huh? Susie! Amara, come on. You don't need to be too hard on him. He is just a driver. <laughs> and besides, I don't think it would hurt if you allow him to drop you off. The car is bloody. If you want him to drop you off, no problem. For me, I will walk down the road and take my Okada home. No, madam, madam, please, please come now. Madam, come, let me drop you for home. Uh, madam, my Okada go sack me. If I now say I don't drop you. Madam, come now. Oh. Don't problem this one now.
sorry about what happened with that office. Forgive me. Well, I'm okay. I'm not angry with you. That's what you say. Whenever you are angry, you say, I'm not angry with you, but I know you're angry. Listen, Bingo is a piece hey, like that. Hey, hey, hey. If I get insult from her or any other person, or because I love you, or you deny me in front of the whole world, I don't care. All I care is I love you. Hmm? Hmm? Since I just feel stupid at times. Many times, I just feel very stupid. Why? Because you love me. You show me that you care. And all I ever do is hurt you. It hurts me, I swear. It really gets to me. Look, Lucky, that is what I don't want for you. Look, I, I always want you to be happy, okay? Traveling this weekend. Suddenly? To where? The village. The village. Is, is there a problem? My father is sick. He's been admitted at a hospital. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry to hear about it. I'm really sorry. Okay. What exactly is wrong with him? To say it has to do with his liver. And uh, I, he has to go under a surgery. Listen, listen. He'll be fine. You can just try and relax. Relax, he'll be fine. I, I, I'm just scared. It won't get worse. Why, why are you thinking in that direction? Just hope and pray. But the worst part is I I don't have money. And I I'm just hoping it doesn't get worse. Jane. Why must you let money be a factor right now? Why you worry about money? I'm lucky I Jane. I, Jane. That's why I'm here, okay? I'm here to support you, to stand by you, to help you when you can't afford it. On my way to the office tomorrow morning, I will stop by and give you a check for 500,000 naira. Does that work? Huh? 500. Well, lucky, okay. that is too much. No, it's not too much, okay? Don't cry. It's not too much. I don't want you to go to the village and for some reason you can't pay for all your expenses. Oh my God, thank you so much. I, thank you. Look, I love you. That's all right. You're an angel sent from above, really. I know. <laughs> thank you. It's all right, right? Look, I wipe my tears down. I, know, I love you too. It's okay. All right, besides, I want that your father should have the best of treatments. I love you, he's your father. And for any reason, if he's not recovering in the village, bring him to the city and I'll take care of the bed. Oh, Prince 
Francis. Oh, I didn't know you knew my place. Yeah. Please come in. Thank you. Nice place. Thank so, you. So how is your other brother? He said he'll be coming in late. Please sit down. Thank you. So, how has it been and how is work? Work is fine. How are you? I'm doing great. I wish I could say that about myself. What is it? It's your friend, Lucky. Oh. It just don't let me be. Please, help me to tell him that I said he should leave me alone. I don't want to date him. Never will and won't ever. <laughs> it's no funny, Fallo. He has turned my life into a nightmare. That's lucky for you. Whenever he believes in a thing and needs it, he never lets go. I certainly do not need him in my life. But he does need you in his life. What? <laughs> Listen to me, man. I know you. You're a good girl with a good upbringing. And Lucky is my best friend. We are like brothers. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Neither will I allow you to make mistakes I'm aware of. But to tell you the truth, Lucky has never loved any girl the way he loves you. He's such a nervous wreck at the moment. But I tell you, try and listen to him. Right? No, no, no. I can't follow. Why? Why? Is it because he's not up to you or something? No, it's not that. It's not that I don't like him. He's a great guy, I know. But we are not of the same class. Forget about that. Just follow your heart. That's what I think matters most. But he has a fiancé. Oh, don't let that bother you. Come on, girl. Come and even face it. Dating Lucky means you won't lack anything. I don't care about his words or how rich he is. I appreciate his person. It looks quite nice. And now you're talking. So, love him back. Date him. Come on, my guy is messed up at the moment all because of you. Come on. Listen, Amara. I want you to go out with him. Date him. Take my word and hold me responsible if it doesn't favor you. All right? Did he send you to come and talk to me on his behalf? No. Listen, Amara. Sit down. Sit down. Who would have thought that I will find love in your eyes? Who would have thought that you will bring along my I thought I was losing my mind until now. You know, I'm, I'm not playing. I really wish that there was a way I could exchange something, you know, for the love that you promised to give to me. I really wish I could. Just give me your love. That's all I ask for. You had my love ever since we met. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know? Um, you don't know, you have no idea how fulfilling you've made my life. It's true. And it's like I've known you even before I ever met you. It's true. You know, and I really hope and pray that um, you would give me the chance to prove the love that I have for you. You have the chance in the world, Lucky. Yeah. I I want to be a gift from something. What is that? Yeah. 
My heart is very fragile. Please, don't break it. Oh, come on. I'm not going to do that. That's the last thing on my mind, really. There's no way I'm going to break your heart. I love you too much to do that. I love you too. I know. Oh. I guess it's getting quite late. Oh, I didn't think we were going to get to this point. <laughs> that means it's time for me to go. Come on, let's spend some little time. It's getting late. Spend some time, just you and I. Just spend some time in my arms, please. at hand you want to throw a party for Amara. Who cares? Problems come and go. We will solve it as it comes and goes. Big deal. So, are you coming for the party or not? What is up? You never cease to amaze me. You sure do have a way of amazing me. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. My guy, don't take styles, come chase my baby. I beg you. But Marvin is saying the truth. You know that God spent over time in threatening your little. You guys are embarrassing me with compliments. Wait, wait, wait. You don't know this guy. Marvin and Timisa, they'll put you to trouble if you listen to <laughs> Serious. Uh uh. Like, what trouble is there in the truth? Lines, lines. See, we're talking about lines. <laughs> you lines master, Shakespeare. <laughs> Oh, Shakespeare. That's a new one. Yeah, that's the name we gave to him way back in the university. <laughs> what's, what, what's wrong with you guys? Eh? What Amara wants to know now? Or don't you want to know? Of course. I'm curious. Hey, you want to know? Sure. Guys, there we go. Shoot. I will kill you guys. You, for starting all of this. No problem, no problem. Don't mind looking. Way back in the university, this your guy had the best shots to work in the on campus. Oh, really? No, that, that's true. <laughs> Way back in school, even guys come to this guy for tutorials, you know? You're kidding me. I've seen. I'm not joking. He has the right word for every occasion. Just like William Shakespeare. Oh. Is that true, don't, Mr. Shakespeare? Don't mind that, please. Don't mind that. Alright. Follow you too. Just say the truth. You're my man. I'm your man. I don't say the truth. 
Hey, 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 hey. That will be behind closed doors, not here. Talk to me, Shakespeare. <laughs> You're even happy. It's tickling you. Oh my god. <laughs> Come in. Baby, you know I shouldn't be here. Come on, be nice. We had a whole day to ourselves. Huh? Let's just end it up with quiet time. Just you and I. But can't we do that somewhere else than a hotel room? What is wrong with a hotel room? Come on, isn't it a, this a nice place? Come I'm sorry. on. I'm just sorry, you and baby. I. I have to go. Go. We just freaking got here. What are you saying? I know, but. I can't, I mean, I can't stay here Please. with you. Come on, I'm not gonna stop this. Is there something wrong with me? Is there something wrong with me? Nothing. Then what? I'm sorry, I have to go, just try and understand. Fine. Fine, no problem, I understand. I mean, if that's what will make you happy, fine. I mean, I'm, uh, come on, I love you. And I know you love me too, huh? I know you love me too. So why, why are you doing all this? I'm sorry, baby. Okay, 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 okay. Can I just get one kiss? But you know, I, I. I love you. Oh, just one teeny weeny kiss. Come on, it won't hurt you. I'm sorry. You know, I'm not so. One I'm kiss, sorry. one kiss won't hurt. Yeah. Just a kiss. Yeah, well, that's fine, girl. Huh? Come on. 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 Come Like I said, you are overreacting. Just calm down and take a seat. I'm overreacting. Yes, you are. Have you noticed that I hardly see you these days if you can help it? 
and you don't even pick up phone to call me. And you're telling me I'm overreacting? You only call me when you feel like it. And you know that's not true. It's not? No, it's not. <laughs> I am not even going to argue that I'm just going to come out and ask this. Are you having some sort of an affair that I'm supposed to know about? What is that supposed to mean? Exactly what it means. Look, I do believe you understand English. Are you having an affair? Well, I found that rather insulting. You know you're insulting me. I don't care how you find it, okay? We are supposed to be getting married soon. Yet I stand here, I'm talking to you. I feel like I'm talking to a stranger. Like I said, you are overreacting. Just take a seat. I don't come here to sit, okay? I'm overreacting. Fine. I'm overreacting. Everything is fine. Cool. We're perfect. So in that perfect mood, I ask you, pick a date next month for our wedding. What? <laughs> what do you mean, what? Yeah, because I'm speaking English as well. I do understand that. And we both know that money is not the problem here. I don't have a problem with the relationship. From what you're saying, you don't have a problem with the relationship. So what is what? Bimbo, seriously speaking, what you're asking me to do is unrealistic. There is no way I can plan a wedding within a month. Lucky. One month. I need to be ready. Hello. No, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm doing just great. So. 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 When do you intend giving up on this whole women stuff? Hmm? I'm tired, man. I don't even know. Amara has just come to just disorient my emotions. <laughs> it's a surprise to hear you talk like this. You, a heartbreaker? Well, I just say it's a case of a hunter. Being the hunted. You guys don't know what you're talking about. You don't so, know. So, make us understand. I mean, educate us. <laughs> okay. Now, you guys know my history, right? You know where I'm from, you know my capabilities, you know my lyrics and all. Girls practically beg me to make love to them. Or even just to be around me. But here's the case. All of a sudden, this other girl pops up. Boom. Now, I'm doing a begging. Can you imagine? I don't know what to do. But I still love her. <laughs> or lust for her? No, 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 no. I don't lust for girls. I know you. <laughs> no. Well, maybe yes. Those days, not anymore, because the sticks are higher now, man. So, when did she say she'll allow you to touch those apples, you know what I mean? It's she the forbidden fruit. She refused. She's refused every single persuasion. Let me do this, no. Let me do that, no. Man! I don't know what to do next. And she's your girlfriend. Right? Tell me about it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm surprised. I mean, anyway, I don't understand, Sha. So, tell me, what do you intend doing? I don't know. I don't know, I'm not sure. No, I don't know if a good girl. There's something about her I'm not too sure about. I can't really put my finger to it. But I will find that. I will. I will. Good luck, bro. But you, you, you know me now. Good luck. Oh, well. Remember Good my heydays, right? I will. My please. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, so what do you think, Alexa? Well, most times I will. And at my leisure time, I play basketball. You play basketball? Yeah. <laughs> Really? Yeah. So what about you? Uh, for me, usually I just work, work, work. So are you trying to tell me that apart from working, your leisure time, Not really. the time to play around? Apart from the times that I'm looking out for you, <laughs> you know, that's all I do. I just 
where you always look it up for you. Good morning. Good. Did you sleep well? Yeah, I'm coming. All right. Ah, uh, well, well, I want you to see something first. Um, what's that? I want what to show that? you something. Come, just come. Love, the bounce you told me. Your heart is searching for the one who ignites you. The love you share will surely make. You like it? Yeah. Yeah? It's a beautiful car. Excellent. I mean, I know it's a sweet piece. I like it myself. And I'm glad you like it. Because it's yours. What are you talking about, Lucky? The car is for you. With all my love, it's yours. I'm sorry, Lucky. I... I can't accept it. Amara, Amara. Stop this. The car is for you. I bought it for you. Unfortunately, I can't take it back. So, listen. Whenever you think you need it, it's all yours. Okay? Love is the craziest it sits on your heart. Why are you doing this to me, baby? Why am I doing what? Is it wrong for me to love you? Is that what you're saying? No, but... Then let me love you. And the best way I can do it is by buying you things, showing my appreciation. Come on. One, one more thing. Love speaks the language of the heart and soul. Love is a cold that bounds you to me. Um, will you marry me? Will you marry me? <sighs> marry me and make you a happy man. appreciate all that you have done but try and put yourself in my shoes then marry me marry me just give me a little time to think things over Surprise is too much for now. Who will I tell my brother? I mean, who will I tell him? Okay. I'll give you some time, but not so much time. Okay. Whatever the case, just know that I love you very much. Business is going well for you. My dear, I thank God I changed business. This is very lucrative. Yeah, didn't I tell you? You did. Oh, you did. Well, you know you are a 
pillar behind us. Come and stop it. Right? Don't make me feel like I have done something extraordinary. No, you have. Yeah. Stop it. So, what have you decided to do? I swear, I don't know. Susie, I'm so confused. Confused that you don't love him enough to marry him or what? No, I thought I didn't like him. But since we started dating, I have come to adore him. He is everything I have ever wanted in a man. So, what's your stress now? I don't know. I don't know. What will people say? His parents, friends, and... Are they the ones marrying you? Listen. As long as he thinks you're good enough to be his wife, <laughs> then so be it. We should do it that easy. I guess it is. When you decide to follow your heart and your happiness, who would have thought that you will hold the keys to my heart? You'll you never, never know where you will find Okay, fine. I know I'm not supposed to let the cat out of the bag, but I couldn't help myself. You <laughs> were. My dear, don't mind her. No, no, no. I'll mind her. She's my daughter in law. Thank you. <laughs> and there he is. <clears throat> What's up, baby? Hi, mom. Hi, son. You're welcome. Uh, thanks. Uh, hi, Mrs. You're J. You're welcome. Bimbo. I wasn't expecting you. Wow. It's nice to see you. It's even nicer to hear the good news. Good news? What good news? Sit down, naughty boy. You didn't even let me know. Or you want to give it to me as a surprise? Well, <clears throat> mother, really, I wish I knew what is happening here. <laughs> Okay. Oh, people just told us that you have picked a date for the wedding for next month. Hmm? She did? You, you... <laughs> Baby, come on. Okay, I know we're not supposed to let the cat out of the bag, but they are our mothers. They have to fix things. Yes. So go on. Just yes. tell them the date you decided. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, we need to make preparations. The Johnsons, your father and I, we need to... Print invitation cards. Invite people? Yes. Wonderful people. And you know the caliber of people that we are talking about here. <laughs> oh, I went for a different service. Oh, mommy, I have the perfect idea of the reception. <laughs> Baby, don't say anything. Let me handle this, okay? <laughs> I was wondering now. Oh.
Big time story we the here for this time back Check out the hustle from Rebecca to Osodi Mind you where really we go to throw rest for the body We know my no whether we face this shop That's why we do the book and run the way for God's time We know send no whether we face this shop That's why we do the two happy to make sure we go meet up From January down to November And the hustle now will make up all the summer From all the way down to a car And the hustle now will not move out the twice car I want a Honda I seen a Honda You can't be serious. You think I would joke with a thing like that? But, but I. But see, he may have had an engagement party for her last weekend. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. That is not possible. Are you sure of what you're telling me? You know what? I think you have to go on your own investigation to find out. I'm sure of whatever I'm telling you here, I'm sure of what I'm saying. Lucky, another girl, engagement. No, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Listen, I know. I know. We have to carry on, that's all. Let's go. No, again, are you sure of what you're telling me? I'm sure of what I'm telling you. That. I will not accept it. No. Dad, don't I have the right to choose whom I want to marry? You have the right to choose the man you want to marry. We too, as your parents, have the right to endorse whoever you want to marry and give you a blessing. Can't you understand that? Exactly. Why do you want to bring this place to us? Why? Eh? Mother, what disgrace are you talking about? I only said I do not want to marry Bimbo. I have the right to choose my happiness. And I am saying as your father that you are going to marry her and it stays that way. Dad, did your father choose mom for you to marry? Who is even this girl that I want to marry? Who are her parents lucky? Her name is Amara. Amara. Amara who? Dad, you know her. She works for you. She's your secretary. My secretary? Hey, Lucky has killed me. Lucky, why? Huh? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Look, by marrying Amara, you're marrying beneath you. The white man called it Mr. Lyons, right? You look for somebody who belongs to your class. So at least you can operate within the same stratum of society. What are you talking about? But Dad, I love her. This guy has used charm on my son. Huh? <laughs> look, I don't want to believe that I spent money to train you in the best school created circumstances that will guarantee you stability for as long as you live, only for you to turn around and blow all this away. For God's sake, what has come over you, Lucky? Dad, that's not what I'm doing. That's not what I'm doing. Look, have you thought about this girl's pedigree? The father is a senator, not just an ordinary senator, but the majority leader in the house. He is aspiring legitimately to be the president. Can't you understand? They look at the girl we are talking about, Bimbo. She has a master's degree. In other words, she can never, ever be a liability to you. Can't you understand? Why do you want to throw this chance away? By the way, what do you have against this girl? Tell me. Dad, I've been with Bimbo for a while. We're just not compatible. We're not. Dad, I want to ask you a question. Go on. 
Did your father choose mom for you? No, he didn't. Because you told me that you met mother at the university. That I understand. I know Bimbo's pedigree. I know the father's capabilities. He's a presidential hopeful. He's the majority leader in the Senate. I know all of that. But where does it place me? Where does it leave me? Are you sure you're not more concerned about your personal interest than my happiness? No, don't die. Huh? I'll just kill myself. Oh my god, you don't talk like that. Baby. Mommy, I don't know what I did. I don't know why Lucky would do this to me. Lucky doesn't mean it. It is just temptation. Stop crying, okay? You know it hurts me when I see you like this. What did I do? It's okay. Me did I love him and hope. Come on. It's not about you. Eh? Maybe he wants to see how much you love him. It's okay. It could be that she just tasting you. Hmm? It's okay, wipe your tears. Okay? Wipe your tears. Oh my baby. I have to Daddy, I am going to kill myself. I'm telling you before I'll just die, I will kill myself. Oh, you won't kill yourself. Even if Lucky jails you, you won't kill yourself. I told you I will take care of this issue. Yes. I will invite the parents here and Lucky. Then we talk this evening. Yes. Don't you trust me? No, no, no. If he says no, what will I do? God is there for you. God is there for you. We are there for you. It's okay. I was surprised because you didn't tell me you were coming. Talk to your son to reconsider his stand because this mother will not die just like that. Uh, Honorable, please, this, this is not what we shall discuss outside. Please, please come inside. It seems you didn't understand the message. All right. I did. I am giving you my word. I will handle the situation. After all, he's, he's my son. I, I, I know what to do. You better do. Senator. It's useful as audience. It's okay. My daughter is not a game to play. In the interest of our relationship, call your son to order. All right, Senator. I've heard you. I, I, I will. I promise you, I will.
That's fine. Don't say that. Don't say that. Well, if you won't go, I will be. I don't know what I did. Just tell me what I did. Now what happened? Don't give me what happened. Baby, don't give me what happened. What did? What did you do? Don't give me what happened. Let's talk about this. Tamara, you just have to take it easy, okay? The pressure is becoming unbearable, Susan. I know. But in a time like this, you have to be very prayerful. Good night, sir. What is good about the morning? I'm gonna ask you what is good about the morning. You shut out the entire foundation of which I built my own life. And you're saying good morning to me. But sir, and I, I shut up. You jumped my son and the lofty sense of wisdom. Now listen to me. Clear everything that belongs to you in this office, including yourself. Hand the keys over to Susan. I don't think I want to ever see you here again. Please, sir, don't do this to me, please. <laughs> to her house and her brother says she's traveling. I know she's still in town. It was even killing me. My father is driving me nuts. How are you sure you're not the one driving him nuts? Whose side are you on anyway? No sides. I only want you to also understand the man's sentiments. Sentiments? His sentiments? What about my sentiments? Okay, the last time I checked, I'm the one getting married, not him. Yeah, I know. What if he insists that you must marry Bimbo and doesn't budge about how you feel about that man? Well, good luck to him then. Because you know, right now, I really don't care. I don't care anymore because I'm prepared for the worst when it comes to Amara. I don't care. What do you mean good luck to him? What if you see Amara and she tells you, Lucky, I don't want you anymore? No, she can't say that. She, she won't say that. I really think you're... The one who needs all the whole luck in the world. But I admire your courage, yeah. I do. has withdrawn my oil prospecting license. Why? Good. Senator Johnson. What? Mm. My friends inside the government told me that he influenced it. But why would he do such a thing? Why? The matter between Lucky and his daughter Bimbo. That's what gave rise to all this. Darling, we need to see them. I need to take some time out and talk with them. Why? What's the point in seeing them if uh, Lucky remains adamant? If he's got his mind made up, there's absolutely no sense in seeing them. Darling, we need to do that. At least it will afford you the opportunity to discuss the license matter with the senator. Please, please, we need to do that. It's 
all right. I, I'll think about it. Okay. Give me some cool water to drink, please. Why don't you take orange first? Okay. Huh? figured out, don't you? I beg your pardon? So, you are the thing trying to ruin my relationship. <laughs> it's not an entity like you. You better go sort out your problems, Loki, because I have no business with you. Well, I just came by to give you a piece of Don't go around feeling too safe in How are you? Are your parents aware that we're here? Yes. They are, but if you're tired of waiting, you can go. Sorry. We've been waiting for the past one hour. I just want to see if we can discuss... Too bad. I don't have the time. I'm going for a meeting. You see? Hi. Hey, I'm even running late. Uh, darling. Yes, with us. Talk with them if you have the time. Without pleasure. Mm. Esther, just hang it there! Hang it there! Now, what do you both want? Madam, we, we have come to discuss the affair involving your daughter and her son. Uh -huh. What is there to talk about? When well, you cannot even bring your child up well like good parents should! What are you talking about again? Yeah, you tell me! Esther. Don't Esther me! Uh -uh. Don't even try that. You call yourself parents? <laughs> Nonsense. Let me tell both of you. Our family does not appreciate whims like you.
Hey, can you imagine your secretary just ordered me out of your office? What is going on? Isn't it clear enough? Huh? Isn't it clear enough? What more do you want me to say? But baby, I... I Don't I just... baby me. Okay? It's over between you and I. I don't know what else you want me to tell you. What? You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. I'm doing it. I have just done it. Well, lucky you... You promised you love me, and I, I made you, I always made you... Jane, 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 listen to me. Just listen. I do not want to have anything to do with you anymore. Put it in your head. I don't. Now, don't call me, and I will not call you either. Just leave me alone, okay? Look, look, I, I'm sorry if I did something wrong, but... I love you. Don't love me. Don't love me. Okay? Listen, just stay away from me. If you don't want to be insulted or embarrassed, just stay away. Okay. What is this? What is all this? Hey. Hey. I was wondering 
when are we going to settle down? I mean, get married and start a family. Oscar, you and me are not going any younger. You've started this issue of marriage again. I told you before now that I would get married whenever I wish to. Did I hear you say I away? Okay, let's put it this way. You can get married whenever you want. And I will get married when I wish to. Have you forgotten you promised heaven and earth? After all the sacrifice I've made for you. Do you want to deny me? I'm not trying to deny anything. I never promised you marriage. Never. Never. No. And that could be your own imagination. My imagination? Jesus. Oscar. After my sacrifice. Is this how you want to pay me back? Pay you back? You sacrificed. I sacrificed. Listen, this your emotional blackmail will not work on me. And if you, what you're talking is marriage and marriage, count me out. Don't forget I made you. Your business and whatever you are, I made you. You made me? You made me. Thank you for making me. And when you are done, that's the door. When you are done, the door. Thank you. God will pay you back in your own coin in Jesus' name. Hello? Hello, baby, it's me, it's me, it's me. Don't, 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 don't cut the light, please. I beg you, don't cut the light. Yes? I've been trying to reach you. Why did you switch off your phone? Huh? Where, where are you? Where? Come on, baby, please. I beg you, don't do this to me. You got me very worried. What is all this? I've been trying to reach you for days now. Baby, please, we need to sit down and talk. Can we just talk? Can we just talk things over? Huh? Oh, I love you. I love you very much. And I'm missing you. Can we just talk? Okay? Please? Where are you? Why are you trying to hide from me? Huh? Why are you running away from me? Don't you know when you leave me I will die? Huh? Oh, baby. I can't live with you, yet I can't live without you. It's alright. I'm so confused. It's alright. You just need to believe in me. Trust me, everything will work out fine. By your parents. Just leave my parents out of this, alright? It's you and I. It's what you and I can do that is important. <laughs> baby, I need your strength. <laughs> To move on. I need you to be there for me. Can you promise me that, please? That you'll be there for me? <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I will be with you. Don't cry. I promise. Don't cry. It's okay. Don't cry. Right. Oh, I love you like you think, man. To talk to you about Vimbo. What is it again? Is she still refusing to eat? She has not tasted anything for days now. 
All she does is cry. And I'm scared. Don't worry, she'll get over it. Huh? I don't think so. The way she is taking it, I think she might want to do something very rash. Yes. She has threatened to commit suicide. And I'm scared. I will die if anything happens to our daughter. Woman, calm down. Calm down. Nothing will happen to our daughter. Nothing. Nelly, please. Do something. You have to do something. What do you want me to do? I don't know. I don't know. What do you want me to do? Anything. Anything. I won't have it if anything happens to my child. I will not take it. Okay, okay. There is one alternative. To fly her out of this country. I think with the change of environment, she'll be healed. Hmm? Of her pain. Hmm? Okay. Calm down, my dear. It's okay. And it will do us all a lot of good if she can leave this wicked. Please. Ah, leave that to me. I'll take care of that. Just let her know about it. Hmm? Okay? Mm. Okay. You have not seen anything. My own daughter. My own daughter! Nonsense. Huh? Because I granted you access to all my vehicles, right? So you feel you can pick up any kind of character in my choice car. What's all this madness for? Dad, I don't think there's anything wrong with bringing Amara in your car. Lucky. Amara, calm down. What does that get do to you? Calm down, Mom. Can we leave Amara out of this? It has nothing to do with her. Yeah, it's not. But we are leaving her out of it because she's getting out of this compound now. Yes. Young woman, out. Get out of that car and out of this compound and get as fast as your legs can carry you. Wait, wait. Lucky, please listen to your father. Young girl, leave this place. Wait. Dad. No. I'm going to wait. Amara, wait! Amara, please wait! Wait now! Dad. Yes? If Amara leaves, I'm leaving as well. I'm old enough to live my own life. I'm a man of my own. I'm willing to live without a father or a mother. If that is what will bring me happiness, if that is the price I have to pay for the love of my life, I am willing. It's okay, it's all right, it's all right. You can live without a father and a mother. Let's see how far I can get. Hello? So, who are his parents? Where is he from? Hello? So, who are his parents? Where is he from? The wonderful news. <laughs> oh, mommy, he's so nice. Yeah. Oh, you love him. My baby, do you love him? Well, very much, mom. Oh, my God, I didn't think this was possible. <laughs> I mean, he's so crazy about me. <laughs> and of course, his parents, they're like, no, 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 they love me. 
God. Thank God. Baby, you sound so happy about it all. Oh my God, Daddy, I am happy. He just got close to me. Oh, my baby. My baby. Oh, my God, he wants to marry me. He has a real plan and he has in everything. I'm, I'm not thinking. Maybe like um, excellence. Oh, my God, Mom, I'm so happy. I don't even know where to start. Hey. You have our blessings, dear. Hmm? Just let us know when you guys settle for a debt. So your mom and I will be there. Oh okay, yes, baby. that's for sure. Yes. Okay, I'm sure you both know I love you. Hmm, we love you, my darling. Hmm. Oh. Just take good care of yourself, okay? Okay. Mommy, Everything you will go work out fine. It's all right. Okay, mommy, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Okay, it's all right. Don't worry. And I might be in London next month on an official assignment. If I do come. I'll check out for you guys and uh, maybe see his parents. Okay, daddy. Yes. And if not mine, I'll hold you to that. Okay, daddy. Hmm. Wonderful. Love you, baby. <laughs> I love you, man. I love you, man. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Bye. Wow. <laughs> My baby will be married very soon. What? How? Thank God. It was wonderful sending her abroad. You see? You see? Hey! hey. It's fantastic. Hmm. I told you. Every disappointment is a blessing in disguise. Hey! Ah. My wow. daughter. I can't wait to see my daughter happy mommy day again. Take this drink. Show us your husband.